How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? This is Zombie Six Killer. Welcome back to Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Uh, we are currently uh, experiencing the new content. I would say um, we are still here. The skip button is still here, and I assume the narrator is still here, although he hasn't said anything for a while. So let's hit the old skip button again. Jump forward about a million years and see what happens next. Ah, that was what I was waiting for. For everything to start deteriorating <laughs> until a way out presents itself. Gonna have it eventually. Aha! A hole! Freedom! Kind of. We've got a ladder here. There's a ladder. There's a hole in the roof. That's how we climb out. That'd be my, uh, that'd be my plan. There's a fly here. Oh my god, how long has it been? I think it's been quite long now. <laughs> These are uh, brick balls, they... They sure last. I mean, somebody stole the door randomly, instantly. They could come back in any moment. Right? Oh. What happened to the plants? Did the apocalypse happen? I'm guessing so. Oh god. Sounds like a horror movie out there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let's go. <gasps> Freedom! The building's collapsing into the ground. Ah. Apocalypse. My favorite. Well, let's go. Let's become Mad Max. I need a car first. <laughs> we need to find a car, we need to find civilization. Oh man, that's where we came from. Just keep walking, don't turn around. <laughs> and that was the ending. Excellent. Oh man, we're back here again. We need to find some more new content. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New new content. Haha! <laughs> Oh good, you noticed my side. I did. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I'm in. Bring on the new new content. Ooh, it's one of these elevators again. I hope this we get another is, jump circle. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. The end is the, yes, end, you see, the end is never the end again. Superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions. Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Ha! Oh, exciting. <laughs> I know you're making fun of the whole process, but uh, I can't help but still feel Calling excited about it. Calling it the Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? It is. Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable <laughs> just 2. Just the two of now us. that's an artistic we can make statement. It if we try. Right uh, just the it's two of us. It's future oriented. <laughs> it screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. <laughs> that's important stuff. 
Wait, what does that say? New content is out. New content part two is in. New hotness. Two. <laughs> They're looking at fonts for the number two. Click to add speaker notes. Hmm. Okay. Now to be clear, mm -hmm. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can lose <laughs> the read a handful Me. of interesting <laughs> concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. I'm sure it is. I don't know anything about that. Ooh. It's very exciting looking though. Go on, try out some of the new features. The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Whoa. Merch! <laughs> I gotta hit up the merch booth, hang on. Mm, this t shirt is the best new feature. <laughs> oh man. Please, no screenshots. Alright, let's hear your name in the game. I'm excited about that one. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, I love being my validated. first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of right. course, in the final game, this well, button you know, will my name could have been Jim. Name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Okay. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, <sighs> I'm Jim. forget whoever you are, <laughs> and simply become a person named Jim. Right. I want you to imagine yourself. I know some people called Jim. Jim. I'm sure I can do that. Sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? Maybe if I so, am. Then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> Yes! You see! What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! The button described you! Do it again! Do it again! No, alright. <laughs> Jim! Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the Jim button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. <laughs> yeah, it really takes it out of you. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Aww. Otherwise, soon you'll start to lose all sense of who you actually are. I'm Jim. <laughs> I can't help it now. You made me be Jim. Now I'm Jim. Forever. Well then, let's see what the next feature is, shall we? I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That's not that a bad idea. That save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It's all about working smart, not hard. <laughs> um. Um. There's too many places to go now. Nope. Settings World Championship. Ooh, collectibles. Oh man, the jump circle, but it's on the ceiling. That doesn't help. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative 
is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Wow. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Ouch. My feelings. Hey! That feels great. <laughs> Wait, is there more in there? Oh man. Are they just going to be lying around the place? I need to find them now. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. It is. It's really, uh, really, uh, undermines the entire, uh, point, right? <laughs> oh, the jump circle, but I got zero jumps remaining. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. Ah. <sighs> Man, I miss jumping. It was great. <laughs> hey, Stanley. Pull the lever. Receive your achievement. No more steps. It just works. It just works. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right ah, now, the right. achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee <laughs> it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. Oh, thank you. You gonna take this away from me, too? All right, moving on. He always takes the buttons away when I poke at them too much. <laughs> Wait, infinite what hubs? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? What's this one? Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy 12th Birthday. Which would you go with? Uh, get Well Someday, I think, is funnier. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th Birthday, step niece it is. Thanks, dipshit. <laughs> or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, nope, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Let's move on, shall we? But what's in here? The baby's all grown up. He still has a baby head, though. Hmm. Reassurance bucket. All right, let's check out this infinite hole. That sounds like a good time. Sounds a bit like Portal, actually. <laughs> Portal was 50% infinite hull. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. Oh, This uh. is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Hmm, I'm sure. Though I... I did mention that you could do that in Portal, but, you know... <laughs> you see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. I think it needs now to be then, brighter. Since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Right. Mm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Let me guess. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later. It's not an infinite hole, is it? You didn't finish this feature either. The hole's not infinite yet. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Yeah, I figured. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. 
It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. I Look, know. I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. <laughs> yeah, that's what the problem. What person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you? I put think this falling infinitely would be Maybe pretty fun if you problem. could. If you could stop whenever you wanted. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why I didn't don't say anything. Why don't just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole most <laughs> Every pause button is Roman numeral too. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. That was great. A mostly infinite hole now. Well, at least we've rectified that problem. We've run out of things to look at. Hmm. In depth. Infinite. Except not really. Alright, we just need to find more new stuff. There was that bucket place. Is that in here? Yeah, reassurance bucket. I want to be reassured. A bucket load. The common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that I after love much despair. consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. Mm -hmm. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your Why mind a bucket? and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold onto the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? Oh, I thank you. I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more bucket. attractive just as a person. Just pick it up. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Well, the bucket's great. Can I bring it with me? Do I need this bucket? Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Hmm? Look, that one just says the button that says Jim now. I like how all the signs are changing as we mess everything up. <laughs> That's fun. I think we've run out of things to look at, though. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... um. Well, we'll figure that out later. Yeah, yeah, figure that out later. <laughs> Ooh, exit. Maybe I need to go to the exit. Up there. Exit. That's what I needed. Let me out. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Uh huh. I think I've seen everything there is to see now. I got a bucket still, but I don't really want it. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. 
It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, somewhere. Let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> Wop. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. I don't know if it's going to okay, help. Yes, yes. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. I, I prefer <sighs> that one. Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Collectible. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. <laughs> they would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. <laughs> with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> I've seen some pretty oh, good ones. Perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Okay. Begin the game. Wait, is the settings different? I think it's all the same. I should probably have these lower than the narrator voice. Bad me for not doing that earlier. Bad. Alright, begin the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big <laughs> we got the balloons where now. he was employee tasteful. number 427. Very tasteful. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did Press every I only day, keyboard for 12 milliseconds. every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was, was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Let's explore Stanley Parable 2. It's All like Stanley Parable 1, but gone. with balloons. What could it mean? How exciting. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I wonder if it's going to lock off like Stanley other things. Stanley felt the bucket calling to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Where's the bucket? Oh, shit. Stanley picked up the bucket. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Come on, bucket, let's do this. You and me together forever, bud. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. 
So I can do any ending still? And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct, was this better than the meeting room? Definitely. Yes, Danny thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Thanks, bucket. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. Oh, and all right. he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. I'll do it. I was going to jump down, but does that mean there's new dialogue in for here, the bucket in everywhere? The bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. We got bucket dialogue everywhere now. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. Okay, bucket. <laughs> Whatever you say, Bucket. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and, <laughs> and his bucket. bucket. <laughs> Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the Bucket could speak to him. Nope. Hey, Bucket. Hello, Stanley. It's me, your Bucket. Press F to take me to work with you. Okay. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the Bucket say to him is just in his head. Do you need me to do something, Bucket? No. What are we doing now, Bucket? <laughs> We're not doing much at all, are we, Mr. Bucket? Can we jump out the window still? No, we phase through the chair. <laughs> Cheeky. Take away my only out. My ability to haul myself out of the... out of the chair. Out of the out of the window to my own death. All right, I'm ready to go now, Bucket. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing <sighs> over an inanimate metal object. I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Should we watch some TV, Mr. Bucket? Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. Very That's effectively. It. it doesn't do anything else. That's all it needs to do, man. Don't listen to the loud man. Press K for us to go back home. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. The beige now, pages. all he cares about is his awful <laughs> bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press X to ignore anyone in your life except me. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. I have the bucket. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press T to go back home. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, <laughs> trying to say, a bucket in it. sturdier, more capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Is that what I mean to do? 
Press G to relive the same day with me over and over. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Well, that's what it's made for. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's like the companion cube. Press P to go home. To work. To home. To work. To home. Oh no. I'm... I'm having feelings. For the bucket. Having <laughs> oh, no, feelings no, no, for the no, bucket? No, no, no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, oh, I love you, bucket. if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or it's I'll... my bucket. Go back to work, Stanley. Okay. Well then, I guess that was the end of the Stanley Parable 2 ending? So I guess I'll wrap this episode up here. Seems like the perfect time, right? We ran around, we looked at things, we made balloons happen, and then we fell in love with a bucket. Sure. Whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.